What's going on YouTube? DJ K coming at you with a quick video. Show you guys how to delete sounds out of your program. Let's say you got a, some sounds you don't want in the program. Uh, I created a program out of some snares and kicks. But anyway, I got some samples in this program too that I didn't want to. I didn't want them on her really. So I, I was like, how can I delete these two samples? This one. So, so to delete that out of your program, you should be able to hit erase and then delete it, but that don't work. For some reason, it don't work that way. The, the way I figured out how to do it, it should work where you hit erase like the machine. You hit erase and then you can just touch the pads and it deletes it. They light up and delete the notes, but that's all it does. It won't delete the actual samples. See, the samples are still there. So the only way I figured out how to delete it, touch the pad you want to delete. So you want to delete that one. Go to Sample Edit. Go to uh, Edit on the, and then you can select the functions. You got different functions here. You got Discard, Delete, Silence, Extract, Normalize, Reverse, Fade In, Fade Out, Pitch Shift, uh, Gain Change, Time Stretch, Bit Reduce. Uh, stereo mono and copy sample so we're gonna go back to uh, to delete we're gonna delete that sample all right it's gone the sample is gone out of that program and I go back to my program it's not there anymore as you can see but that one still is so I gotta do the same old process even though to me I, I can get used to that but I think that they should make it to where you can hit the erase button on the um, NPC and just touch the pad and delete it. Right now, all it does is it gives you options to erase the note. Erase, uh, it says accept note. I don't know what that means, but let's see if that'll do anything. See, it's still there. So, erasing, hitting, hitting erase, and let's say you hit all. Let me see what that does. See, you don't delete the sound. So, the only way you can delete that sound is hit sample edit. Go to uh, edit. Hold on, let me go back. Okay, I want to get rid of that, so hit edit on your on your NPC and then select the function that says delete by turning the knob. It might be on delete as soon as you go on that screen, but you hit do it and it gets it's gone. It's a done deal. Nothing's on that program at all. So it's all free for me to put some kicks and snares or whatever else I want to put on here. I already got another bank that's full of kicks and uh, snares. And this one got some hi-hats. This one got like some congos and stuff. But anyway, that's what it is. That's how you delete sounds out of your program. And after you get done with that, you go up to file. And you can just say, um, save current program. And there it is right there. It's DJK True School Drums, which is True School from Native Instruments, actually. <laughs> but I just wanted to make my own little drum kit out of it. So I'm going to say that. I'm saving this to my hard drive, too, to my external hard drive. Now, that's the new program saved without that, without those samples. There it is. I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully, the sound came out on this video. I'm not sure if it did. See you guys on the next one. DJK is out.